What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast as you can see we're here on Unison League and today we are going to be doing the patch overview as the patch just came out and I told you guys I was going to do patch overviews every time they came out so I am keeping up to my promise as I stated. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it guys. Um, let me fix this lighting situation I got. I hate that little Jesus beam thing that comes up right there. Much better I think. Okay, so basically what we want to check out is the event and the new um, Athena monster. Let's just go ahead and see what this says now. Enlightenment quest begins, monster spawn begins, bonus gear with certain gem packs removed. Uh, this thingy rates spawns ends, flame of eternity and blah, ends, blah blah blah. Okay, so small bug fix is pretty much what happened and then this stuff. Um, let's take a look at the enlightenment basically what you want to look at here is does the monster or is the monster uh viable for pvp and i would say no um is the monster useful for yourself as a either priest or mage as a ur uh, stat booster or is the monster uh, useful for PvE? Which is probably yes, but not as useful as say like a Valkyrie at all. So honestly, this is all enemies with magic, light damage, okay, damage, basically just does damage, added effect, it heals. Um, let's see, ability power, level bonus ability power boosted. So basically it just does damage and heals. Not that great, it's uh, best best used as a stat booster for people that do not have UR, full UR monsters, either mages or clerics. The other reason for this quest event is to get the orb itself and then be able to use it um, to upgrade these helmets and armors that are coming up. Looks like it is going to be a magic reflect um, hat and clothing. So as you can see, it says this one's a hat, this one's a clothing, so it's cloth um, used for mages, archers, clerics. Um, you could use it on your, <clears throat> you could use it on your paladin. However, to get the blessing, you would have to actually have a, cl a cleric weapon on. So unless you're a healing paladin, it wouldn't be the best for you. Um, same thing with mages. So mostly just a cleric thing. Um, so yeah. Pretty much that's how that's gonna go. Uh, I will do the event at the end of this video. Uh, it's pretty easy and I'll show you how it goes. Oops, did not mean to do that. Uh, going back into the notices here, the Athena. Now a lot of people have been asking me already, hey man, you really need to do this video. Tell me what it's like, blah, 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 blah. And all that good stuff. So what I'm actually going to do is I actually think this is decently good for people who are in guilds that are not like top 50 the reason being this actually if you look down here it actually stacks to 50 percent so if you use two of these guys that's the maximum you would actually get because this goes to 28 right 20 is the base i believe and then it goes um plus two every level so it starts to have a level one plus four levels that's eight so it's 28% right because it's 2% per level so if you use two of these guys that are level 4 skill or higher you will get max buff um, so the max buff is 50% cooldown reduction meaning it says right here example is if there's a 9 second cooldown and it's reduced by 20% then it reduces to 7.2 seconds. The cooldown reduces to 8 seconds because it rounds up from any decimal point. So that's something that you need to uh, look at. Also, something that you also need to look at is the abilities that it affects. Uh, these abilities are not affected right here. So any of these abilities, pretty much any buffing ability, um, ether exchange, cheer, uh, charisma, the stuff that would be incredibly o overpowered if they were... Um, affected by these cooldown uh is actually prohibited to be used uh or actually it can be used but it it, it just doesn't affect it so the, the buff doesn't affect it 
so that's how that works the reason i'm saying this is really good for people that are in, in like top 100 guilds is that pretty much now anybody that has two of these guys in a guild and has five cb archers that are like around 45 45 so 45,000 uh magic attack 45,000 attack around that area even maybe 40 40 could probably one shot the crystal at its current state um and the way you would probably do it um is say you have your archers in the front line right and you just attack them attack them and if you kill them that's fine and you try to get, uh, kill the crystal after that but if you die you're getting unison from those deaths right so your archers are getting unison from those deaths once um they've they've killed you you can go back into that uh, next round after you've uh guild you know bonded and got your unison up all the way go back into that next round with three marduk and two of these guys it basically will wipe them unless they have all 30 cost unisons up which they probably won't unless they're paladins or they've been cheering the whole time with their front line uh and then you can wipe their crystal in one go um this is that's just like an option for people uh that are in lower um guild brackets um there can it can be used different ways but if you use this like three marduk and two of these guys make sure these two guys are at the end of the unison other than that, even for PvE, it's it's not incredibly incredibly useful. Um, the the other option you can you can maybe do with this monster with the cooldowns is like, uh, say if you're in a front line group, you use three of the unisons that you have on your front line, and then you save the last two here, uh, these the two of these Athenas. Uh, once those three front lines have finished, then you use these two. So basically, you're gonna like um cycle out the unisons and this way the the first three people that use that unison the first three will actually attack before the two people use the athena unison here so the cooldowns will actually be affected during the unison you get what i'm saying so while, while the light monster unison is is being is attacking your cooldowns on those three people are cycling out like say if there's three mages and they use three meteor rains right and if those meteor rains in fact wiped the whole group these unisons would still pop off and your cooldowns would be reduced to into the next phase which is the crystal phase so you know you can use it in di different situations i think the best way to use it is always at the end of a five a man unison meaning that three of the other monsters would go first and then these two would go last definitely or using it one by itself or just two uh of these guys by themselves so that the cooldowns are maximized right and you would want to have um your some skills already on cooldown so that when the cooldown timer affects it's going down i'm not even i'm not actually 100 percent sure if it affects it as the cooldown is already in use if you get what i'm saying like say if you use the skill and then the cooldown's there like if you use this unison does then the cooldown become lower if it's already been used or once it's used that's when the cooldown comes down you know you get what i'm saying so basically i if you guys know what i'm talking about and you've tested it go ahead and tell me in the comments below um i'm not 100 percent sure if i am going to be doing this um because one of my friends has, has done it and he he had actually took him five five rolls of this to get a um a monster which is upwards to 250 uh gems which is i just don't have that right now and i honestly don't want to spend that much money to get something that i'm not sure if i'm going to use it but if you guys got really lucky and said hey let me do a three gem roll and you got it or a five gem roll i guess it would be because it's a monster spawn and you got it then tell me what's up with that and tell me how it works uh definitely test if you use use like say uh, a 60 second cooldown like purify or you know a high cooldown like um what was it D divinity divine grace no um it's called dignity if you use like dignity or wind of cur or wind, wind of courage it doesn't affect so like dignity or something that is has a high high cooldown tell me if it actually affects it like meteor rain say if you use your meteor rain if it affects it you use your meteor rain you use the monster 
does it affect the cooldown less like does it make it less like oh, okay since you've already been infected by this i'm gonna make your timer less it might it might not i'm not sure so you guys test that out tell me how that works if the seconds that I already ticked off will like um be affected by the cooldown already or it starts at um you know that maximum that the 20 percent had already uh taken down tell me how exactly how it works if i come up with that info before you guys i will put it up but um for right now i don't have that info um readily available so tell me what you guys think about this uh guy tell me what you guys uh, know about uh, how the cooldowns work how it, how the skill works and tell me what you guys would do as a combo for this in the comments below i would really appreciate it that'd be cool um in terms of the patch yeah that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the video now of the um the event here so i'll go ahead and go into my gear sets i'm gonna equip the event for this event i have purifying light balance dual strike and divine smash and i will be using a soldier obviously so we're gonna go ahead and go into the quest here go in the enlightenment go to the paragon a lot of healers have been playing lately so i've just been playing my soldier yeah there you go so there's a healer already in here so as for these guys oh man three healers okay yeah that's exactly why i just go soldier every time now uh because there's a lot of healers that come out and if i become if i go as healer most of the time there's another healer there so this is the first day this is how it's probably going to be for a little bit but um as the event goes on you guys know that the healers start to dwindle off and it becomes more dps come on healer yes okay so we have two um looks like yeah most of these guys are good enough level this guy right here red uh yeah it should be okay actually uh everybody looks like they're decently um high hp the reason this guy is a little bit lower is because he's a mage and just generally speaking mages will have lower hp than any other class so don't take that uh, put that against your um mage buddies there oh see my little blinder here is falling off need to get some better lighting in this room anyways so that's how that works um this next one you definitely want to switch targets and kill the knight first a lot of people will go um for the popos uh, or the pasas the popos the pasas uh first which is actually the wrong thing to do because you want to be able to kill off this guy all right so he's asking who has haste i don't uh i will also put a o up because i do have haste usually the o or the um thumbs up is how you determine hey i have haste when asked somebody asks that who has haste just put up the o if you do it have it put up the x if you don't have it usually just uh something to uh, go by something that a lot of people do so we have the knight over here getting killed little uh pasas slamming their faces and mustaches against you uh doesn't really hurt just looks really weird so just basically killing off this uh knight guy and then you're gonna be waiting for a while so once this guy is dead you're good to wait uh you want to go ahead and yeah let let this guy let this uh costs go up to around 75 to 80 percent or yeah i guess it would be percent too because it's about the same thing so cost 75 or 80 cost because it's 100 cost same thing as percentages right so yeah that that's pretty much where you want to go 75 to 80 so you're just sitting here letting the little mustache pasta smack you on your face with his face and chilling um the best unison to use for in general for event quests is 
two Valkyries and uh, three haste. The three haste uh, usually would be it would be nice if you can have three um, fa uh, Fines or you can have like two Jabberwockies and one Fine because the Fine will take care of the debuffs and the status ailments as well as heal. And then the Valkyries, if you have like say one uh, or two Wind Valks, that's nice. If you don't have any uh, Wind Valks, you usually want to not uh, Unison there because even if say if two, only two people have uh, haste and then somebody puts up a Fire Valk up with that Kagatsushi, you're pretty much uh, SOL. All right, so this one I'm going to go ahead and put up my um, haste here because I'm the only one with haste. But at the same time, I probably should have attacked first before I did that. Um, one thing you want to do is you want to take out this uh, golem as soon as possible. His damage is incredibly high, and if he gets his buffs off, he can kill you in one shot, even if you have eight buffs. So definitely want to take this guy out first. Uh, and I'm basically just looking to see if he has uh, the buff up, um, and the buff is called um, like Revi Beast Mode Revise, I believe. Mass Destruction. So this is the one that kills you to really low HP, and we need heals here. So that's why sometimes you want to save your unison, sometimes you don't, depending. Um, if you have a good healer, you don't really have to save your unison, but in certain situations in pub games, you don't have a quite like the best healer or he doesn't even have a dignity. Uh, you really need to pop a dignity after the max destruction because it is one of those kill uh, last attack type skills that a boss usually would have. So still haven't gotten a heal. I might die here. So I'm just going to pop this right here. Um, just in case, I just, I even my Kagasushi was used, so. Basically, just saying, like, hey, healer, what's up? Um, so, just making sure that I get healed up. I don't have a Kagasushi up at the moment, so I'm just gonna make him so. Just making, um,. Alright, so basically, um, oh shit, I, I mean crap, I use balance, so that is not a good way to go, but um, basically it's just going to be a, a waste of cost for me right now, we're not going to die because I just use balance right there, um, because this is going to be taking a long time anyways, um, honestly, I wouldn't even go for uh, the carbuncle first, because look at that, he actually uses a, um, a, barrier and then if the the knight actually had healed them earlier than that then he barriered and then he healed himself and then he paralyzed us it would be pretty annoying to deal with so i usually go for the angel first actually so that's the heal that he does right there and then carbuncle black mist basically this is like the omen from the other um the other quest where it reduces your stats it's it's pretty much uh what's Lilith does minus the stat, um, yeah, the stat debuff, but it is a stat, um, s status, status reduction, uh, what is it, status weakness reduction, status resistance reduction, so that's what that is, uh, in terms of this carbuncle, I kind of usually just sit here and save a little bit of cost here because I know I'm going to be spending a lot of cost on the next round. So I usually just sit here and let the other team kind of get uh, the guys down here. Um, he's not doing a huge amount of damage. He is aggroed onto the healer at the moment. So I'm just saving my cost here, making sure that I will have a huge amount of cost and we'll be able to control the next round uh, with ease. So th this is the reason why I did it. So I have a 98 cost right here. I'm going to go ahead and spam my, um, my dual sword here and then divine smash 
And then Starlight's gonna go on me. So basically I'm gonna have a lot of debuffs here. Lunar Ray. That's, I have a defense debuff already. Starlight again. So it looks like he missed there. Lunar Light. Oh, it's actually going into onto the um, other Paladin as well. So not too bad for me. So I'm just gonna keep, keep it going. Let uh, my debuffs go. I'm definitely not gonna use my Unison right now. I don't need it. It's not too crazy right now. It's um, and he hasn't used his like Super Moon, I think it's called, which is his uh, kill skill, his 1% HP skill. So uh, just waiting for him to use his uh, Mirror or something, and um, yeah. so he's just basically debuffing the guy on top. I'm not too worried about that. Moon Mirror, there it is. All right, so he should be using his his other skill. Shooting star. All right, so I'll go ahead and use my. There it is. So this the eclipse right there, and the mirror is basically the debuffs. So as I take the status off of myself, and then we are going to uh, hit him with a holy attack. I will use my purifying light, and that'll take off all the debuffs. So usually you want to chill for a little bit and make sure that you get a good amount of. Um, debuffs on yourself before you use purifying light because you don't want to use purifying light and then get debuffed again so moon mirror there's another debuff actually and right now I'm gonna go ahead and assume he's going to yep okay he's using shooting star so he did use his ultimate attack on us and the healer wasn't uh, ready for it I did actually use my ward up so I might actually die here that was very close so Good thing the healer actually healed me first uh, as he was attacking me. So that was very clutch. And I did get a light orb out of it. So really awesome. Awesome that I got the uh, light orb out of it. Um, so that's pretty much how that's going to work guys. Um, most of the time it's better to have one uh, soldier. Honestly because the soldier isn't the highest DPS in the game. He's used to attract aggro and do a decent amount of uh, DPS as well as having good support uh, skills like balance and purify so kinda threw me off that there was two soldiers they were attacking two different uh, he was attacking two different targets probably threw the healer off a little bit too um, anytime you're a healer and you don't know who he's targeting or uh, it kinda gives you a you know like panic mode where like you're sitting there and you're like oh I don't know which one I should focus I'm not sure uh, what I should do as you can see, um, yeah, like I said, Red, he was 81, he had an 83k gear score. Uh, not the best uh, person to have with you, but at the same time, uh, not the worst. As you can see, he did actually die on this. So, um, you know, it, it's really... It's really up to you guys if you want to like quit on these type of people, but it's not that bad if you have somebody, some people like around this gear score area. Like this guy's level 98, and he has a higher gear score uh, than a lot higher gear score than this 96. So sometimes it depends um, who you're with. So that was pretty decent group. That was a pretty decent group. It wasn't the best group. Um, I don't believe this guy had. Digni uh, dignity but I'm not 100% sure healing was a little bit uh, lacking but it wasn't too bad so as you can see guys uh, that's pretty much how the run goes uh, you can do a lot of public quests or pickup group quests um, and get a decent amount of orbs this way so just keep on uh, keep on trucking and keep on trudging through these um, these event quests and you should be able to get the orbs and monsters that you desire as well as the gear and upgrades so that's about it for this one guys um, definitely like comment and subscribe if you can it would be very helpful and uh, I'll catch you on the next one as always thank you guys for watching and take it easy peace